Pursuit Swimming, which was formerly known as Uganda Swim League, has entered match day two uh, with teams in an early search of points. Uh, the latest match day, like others, was at the British School, was at the British School Kampala Pool. With the new innovations like a monthly salary to some of the swimmers, Pursuit Swimming, formerly known as Uganda Swim League, has continued to be the go-to place when in need of marvelous swimming prowess. <laughs> This has been witnessed during the second match day at British School Kampala as swimmers contested backstroke. <laughs> Now in its third year, this initiative became the first ever swimming competition in Uganda to reward cash prizes to swimmers and has continually been embraced with the number now at 60. Its growth in numbers is proportional to the quality and increase in teams from two in the first edition, three last season, and now up to five. Well, I just simply forward to what my coach told me, underwater, stretch your stroke, kick very fast, and I consistently came for training every single time, which helped me improve my swimming, so that's how it's been a good day for me, and I'm happy I supported my team a lot today. I swim for Altoona Swim Club. And I'm in team Colts. I'm the team captain of Colts. My expectations today were to remove towns from the first position, but we managed a bit. The teams this season are Talons, Colts, Astros, and new entrants, Flames and Jets. After just two match days of the scheduled 40, two-time winners Talons are top the standings with nine points. Colts and Flames joined second with seven. Jets on four, while Astros is bottom with three. Action resumes next Friday. John Burns, Sentamo, UBC News.